Well, I just want to put out condolences to those in um, Seoul, Korea. There were over 150 deaths from the crowd surge of the Halloween festivities there. Now, my ex is Chinese, but he was uh, raised in Seoul, in South Korea. He was raised in South Korea. So anyway, uh, again, condolences. I know how absolutely terrifying that is because when I lived in San Francisco, I went out for the Chinese New Year's parade and uh, was caught in a surge. You know, ones were coming this way, ones were coming that way. And thank God there was a big guy that grabbed me and pulled me out of there because I could have been trampled as well. If the surge was, I couldn't breathe. And uh, it's terrifying. I don't go anywhere near crowds anymore like that because of that incident. Um, I know last night here, uh, after we had our Halloween extravaganza, I went out. There was supposed to be the, um, what they called the uh, vampires ball and they were having like the gypsy village outside but well, i couldn't find it and then coming back um down downtown down here they were having the zombie walk and just i mean everywhere cars and so again it was just huge huge crowds of people out you know and uh, so I avoid those things just for that reason, because I have been involved in one of those types of crushes. And it's no joke. It's terrifying. And if you fall, um, that's it. You're going to get trampled. And the crush is you cannot breathe. Um, there are so many people and they're all panicking. And uh, so anyway, condolences. Uh, to those and there were people there from all over the world from America the Netherlands Japan I guess a lot of ones um, and most of the ones that died were in their teens 20s you know younger people so just oh my goodness you know festivities are great but you know we need to use some you know, caution with that. Um, yeah, so condolences to the people there that have lost one of their relatives uh, due to this uh, crush. Just, uh, it, it's just sad. So many things going on now. Now, I just watched another video that was talking with some of the Russians that left when they had the, uh, you know, Putin's drafting them, pulling them in for service without having any kind of uh, training and uh, without adequate things, and they left Russia. And they were talking to some of these people that just said they're so glad that they left. You know, they're missing their homeland, they're missing their friends, but they'd rather be alive than being sent out, you know, with not adequate training, and they don't want to kill or be killed. For what? You know, they're going, for what? Why do I want to kill or be killed? So um, they're trying to make their life. More than likely, you know, once uh, Putin's gone, they will probably return. But let's look and see. I'm going to pull some cards on that now and see if Putin's gone, will they return to Russia? Will the ones that left return to Russia if Putin is out of power, gone one way or another? The center of it. We have the lid, the Pandora's box is what I call that many times. A lot of emotions, kind of trying to keep the lid on the emotions. And yeah, a lot of them have left 
girlfriends, wives, um, their families. They have left families there in Russia. And the documentation, letters, okay. So I think that it has to do with um, getting letters from home, from their wives, their girlfriends, their family, okay? So the past, we have this you know, the sword, wanting them to go, yeah, snaky things. what they've been told, the fires, flaming the fires. So that's what we have. They're, they're looking at what they were told and the actions being taken, um, looking at the reality, the truth of it, okay? So now things are being juggled. Yeah, looking at the ongoing lies. And the journey, what to do, where to go. So I think that, you know, uh, that's what they're looking at now. They're, they're juggling this stuff. Yeah. The challenge is, you know, uh, perhaps the leadership. Um, the strong arm tactics, the things that are going on, the obstruction. Obstruction and yeah, just bad luck with stuff. So that's the challenge. I think it would be when he's gone, who's coming in? Um, what is their policy? Okay, uh, the clarification is the anchor, what's being anchored in, and the strength card. So is it somebody? that's going to strengthen Russia in a good way? Or is it somebody that's going to continue this obstructionism? And um, in the vein of Putin, I think that they're waiting and looking to see what's, uh, what would happen with that. Um, what type of man is coming in? Okay. <clears throat> What's not being seen, and uh, is it somebody that's going to be leading Russia in a good way, or is it somebody that's going to be abusive? Um, so, depending on um, looking at that before deciding whether to go back, are there new opportunities coming in? is at the end <clears throat> of this old type of regime or is the contract that's being anchored in more tower moments is it still upheaval okay are they charging forward with something better to birth something new are they willing to move forward into that and when it comes to this strong arm tactics, again, talking about, is that come to an end, okay? What is the leadership going to look at? Is it going to be higher things or is it another narcissist coming in for long term? So it just looks like they are, um, when it comes to going back, if Putin is taken out one way or another, 
uh, they're, they're looking to see what's coming in, okay? What's coming in? Is it somebody that's going to have some rationality? Or are they having another narcissist coming in, uh, somebody that is uh, military military minded type person so it looks like they are just biding their time and they're going to uh, look and see what's coming up is it safe to go back or not okay so that's what i'm getting on that uh, remains to be seen depending on who would be coming into power at that point. Is this somebody that's military-minded of the same vein as Putin? Or is it somebody that's going to strengthen Russia and turn over a new leaf? So we'll have to watch and see what happens with that. But thanks for tuning in, Love and Light. See you online.